Good morning from Garden Spot Acres. So another great morning here. So it's always a great morning here. Got a neat little project lined up for today. Uh, the previous video you saw me bake a raised bed totally out of pressure treated lumber. We used four by fours in the corners and we used uh, two by sixes for the bed itself. But today we're gonna to use this interesting concrete item I found in Home Depot. But here are those modular blocks we was talking about. You can see these here. Tino's gotta to come in and put his nose in. But you can see the slots in the side, here and here. You know, it's all actually four sides. So they can go either way, you can build you don't have to build just rectangular. You can build anything with right angles, any shape you desire. Uh, they have a one half inch hole through the center so you can anchor them with rebar. So you can see over here where I've already like placed some of the corner blocks in just to see how it looks. But that rebar is down to the ground and it's got two feet. I'm gonna drive into the ground. So they're gonna be anchored really well. Okay, just got back from the lumber yard. We got ourselves 15 two by six by 10 foot longs. We're gonna use on the sides, we're gonna use the 10 footers and in between and in between like here, we're gonna cut the 10 footers down into 40 inch pieces. So this is gonna end up being 30 feet long, 40 inches wide. So we're gonna get started on that. What I'm going to first do is take this corner block here and level that out. Then I'll come down to this block here, level that one out, put the boards in between, then go ahead and stake them into the ground. Check it for level, good that way. Here, she's got a... <clears throat> good, good. Go ahead and uh, level them out a little bit and stake those into the ground. Okay, we have the second set of blocks in place. And what we're going to do now is run a string line from the first set of blocks that we put in. I'm going to sight down it. And put a stake in on this end. Right there. Okay, that'll give us a straight side. Then from there, I'll go ahead and measure off that side there. So I'm gonna finish this side here, put in uh, two more sets of blocks, and that'll give me my 30 feet. 
Okay, we got the next block in position. I'm gonna go ahead and sight down the string. And it looks like I have to kick the block over a little bit this way. And that looks good right there. She's good that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the next block on top and rebar them in. I had to take out a little bit of rise right in here, but it wasn't much, shaved off like half an inch. Again, I'm not trying to level from end to end, I'm just trying to get the boards laying flat on the ground as best I can. If I were doing this, you know, in the front of a home or someplace that really the, the looks made a difference, I'd be making sure I leveled this really well. But for the purpose that we're using here, I'm getting this very, very close and it's not taking time, taking much time at all. That's very good there. Let's take a look. Got these two boards here. These, these guys are okay, pretty good. But what I'm going to do is drill a hole down through, partly through the first one. And then use these eight all the way about well, halfway into the second one. And that's gonna keep the bowing hopefully at a minimum. You can see over here on this side, you can see right here how much bowing there is already. So I'll have to push that one over when I put the screw in. But I wanna keep that, I wanna keep that from uh, bowing out. At least both boards will bow together. And that way I can drive in a rod on the outsides of these to keep them from bowing out. Okay, the pilot holes drilled. Just using a 5 16 inch auger bit. And you can see that there, it's all in, all flush on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do these other two before I continue with the build here. Okay, the 40 inch boards that we just cut, we're gonna place them in now to their um, cross member pieces. Now we're just going to put the blocks there, or get a couple 10-footers, put the blocks in place, and they should be good to go. Hey, okay, welcome back. Just got the 10-footer in place here. And all I had to do, because I had these cross members in, 
was drop this into place here. So right now everything looking good. A little more than two hours after I started, we have a 30 foot long raised bed by 40 inches wide. Minimal cutting, minimal putting screws in just to hold the two boards on the side like I showed you, like here, just to hold these flush together down in here. And the cost, let's see, I had 16 of the blocks. They were $3.60 a piece. So let's go, let's say $4 a piece. So that's $64 for the blocks. And I just got done paying $90 or a little less than $90 for the lumber. So 90 and the 64, $154. And the screws were eight. So let's say $160 round number. I did estimate, I did round up a little bit. So 160 bucks for that. Yeah, and I do have the rebar. That's gonna cost me four or $5. I got that from a welding shop and they just, um, cut it on the um, shear press for me. So about $160 here. And two hours worth of time. But these are modular, so you can build onto these. So you could go ahead and build off this direction. So this doesn't have to be just a simple rectangle. You can get uh, as you know symmetrical as you wanted. You know, put a design into it. That would look really nice. So. Thanks for watching this video. This was super easy. Uh, don't be afraid, especially, you know, if you don't have the tools to do like raised beds, you know, you're gonna put, you're gonna use nailers or screws and a lot of stuff like that. This is a great, easy project. You can have Home Depot or Lowe's cut your lumber for you, design your project, have them cut all your, your two by lumber, cut it to length, bring it home that way, all right? So there's minimal, you don't even have to, if you don't have the saw and stuff like that, go ahead. This is a great uh, way to get a raised bed in your, in your gardens for a minimal amount of tools and a minimal amount of work. So thanks for watching. See you again on Garden Spot Acres. Please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, have a great day.